So good morning to the first yoga and morning meditation class. It will be very similar to what we usually do in the morning, um, but just with a longer meditation, which you can choose to do seated or lying down, but that will be towards the end. This class is intended to get you in your body, move and stretch after a night's sleep, and maybe whether you've had a good night's sleep or um, a restless night's sleep, it's just taking the time to recharge and set yourself up for your day. So as we start, you can lie down, you can come up to seated if you feel that you might fall back asleep, but just ease yourself into your day. So noticing the contact that you have with the floor, physical sensations, maybe the body feels quite heavy. Noticing how you feel, energy-wise. Maybe you feel quite tired or maybe you have been awake for a while and you feel quite energised. Maybe you've already had your morning coffee. How do you feel emotionally and in your mind space? really important to take the check-in and tune in to meet yourself exactly where you are be honest to inquire and be honest with yourself to listen what is your body saying and when we meet ourselves where we are it gives us that opportunity to serve our wellness to serve our well-being Serve our body for what it needs today. Serve yourself. You do all the work. I'm only here to guide you. And with that said, let's start to notice our breath making our arrival. As we make our arrival, noticing maybe the belly expand feeling free to place a hand onto the belly and a hand onto the chest as you notice the belly expand the chest and then as we breathe out maybe feeling that sensation of belly floating down air flowing out that instant feedback As we make our arrival, and as we breathe into the belly and into the chest, we breathe out maybe a little slower. Nice, and as we make our arrival, let's wiggle fingers and wiggle toes. Let's start to draw the feet together, stretch the arms up over the head, taking a full body stretch. Nice, and when you're ready to, let's guide those knees in as we gently walk from side to side. Just noticing how your body is responding to movement here areas of fluidity, areas of stiffness, areas of space and tension, both residing in your body. And then from there, we'll just start to draw the knees out to the side, holding the ankles. And again, it might feel quite nice to just rock from side to side. It might feel quite nice to stay still. You might want to hold the inner arches of the feet, take the heels up, maybe you take that option. But again, just listening to gently awaken your body. You don't need to force anything. Go where it feels good. Nice, and then we're gonna take two more breaths there. And 
when you are ready, taking those legs up, maybe pointing and flexing the feet, keeping a soft bend in the knees, just noticing how your legs respond to that. Again, nothing extraneous, just bringing movement to your joints. You might even want to start to pedal the feet. Noticing maybe any cracks and pops. Just as your joints start to awaken to movement. And then from there, bringing the feet down, mat width apart, and let's expand the arms out, taking up space, palms to face up. Maybe if you don't have much room out horizontally, you might take the arms up um, into a Y shape instead. Feel free to bend the arms. And then whichever option you're in there, we're going to take a deep breath in at the center. Breathing out, we're swaying the knees over to right side. Doesn't matter how close to get to the ground. Inhale, center. Exhale to left. And again, as you move through, just guiding yourself through and with the breath. Nothing extraneous, just gently guiding legs side, middle to side, where the legs don't have to touch the ground. And you're just making sure that the feet are out mat width apart, so you've got that room for internal and external rotation of thighs and of joints. Just making sure those feet are out wide, mat width. Nice. Awakening the joints, starting to gently bring yourself into twists. And taking one more round, no rush so that we finish on our left side. And whenever you do finish on your left side, we'll guide ourselves back up. Holding the knees, forehead towards the knees, and feel free to lift the head up off the ground if that feels good. If not, keep it lowered. And then release, holding the back of the thighs, rocking side to side. And you have the option maybe to rock back and forth. But if that's not accessible for you today, feel free to roll over to the right to guide yourself up to a comfortable seat. And in cross leg, and feel free to close your eyes. As we rock back and forth. As we rock side to side. Just finding that seated position as we gently guide ourselves to sit tall. Shrug shoulders up, draw shoulders down. So you might want to do that with breath, inhale, squeeze shoulders up, feel free to pause and hold the breath at the top. And then exhale, draw the shoulders down, feel free to pause there too. So just doing that within your own pace of breath, two more, squeeze shoulders up, draw shoulders down. Again, noticing fluidity, stiffness, space and tension. Nice, and then once you let the shoulders go, feel free to close the eyes or keep them closed. We'll tip the head over to the right. Take a deep breath in. And then inhale, center. Exhale, tip head to left. Take a deep breath in. Next, inhale, come back through center. And exhale over to the side. So you're just exploring that with the breath. Noticing how each inhale and exhale is changing the pose, changing your transitions. Nice. From there, when you next come back through center, let's exhale, tuck the chin down, looking down, and inhale, lift the chin up but still keep a sense of lifting rather than just dumping the head back. Think about the neck kind of lifting up and tilting up 
rather than just dropping the head back. So take control of that head tilt back or head nod up and down. Nice. And then when you're next ready, come back through center. We'll tip the head over to the side. Exhale, roll chin down and round. Head tilts to the side. Exhale, chin rolls down and round. When the head reaches the side, take a full breath in. And just exploring that space in neck, head. Again, very gentle movements just to arrive into your body, feeling connected to neck, shoulders. Nice. Then next time that the head comes down to the center, we'll lift the head up. From there, let's take right hand over to the left knee, other hand sits behind. As we inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, looking over the back shoulder. Inhale to lengthen, sit up tall. Exhale to twist, looking over the back shoulder. And doing that within your own pace of breath. Just starting to attend and awaken that back space area as we twist. Nice. Next inhale, let's take the arms up, sweep arms up, and then exhale over to the other side. So left hand onto the knee, other hand just sits behind. As we inhale, sit up tall. And then making sure we breathe out first. Breathe out, looking over the back shoulder. Nice, and just doing that within your own pace of breath. Noticing how this side may feel different to the other. And gently when you're ready, let's inhale, sweep back through center. And then exhale, let's attend to the sides as we bring right hand down, reaching over, bending that standing arm, shoulder away from the ears. Feel free to close the eyes, take that awareness internally, noticing that stretch down the side. Deep breaths in. Breathing out. Nice, one more breath there. And when you're ready, inhale, we come back through center. Bringing left hand down, reaching over to the side. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Elbow bend, shoulder draws down away from the ears. Just attending now to the other side, noticing how that side may feel different. Taking deep breaths in and out, attending to this side of your body. Nice, next inhale, let's come back through to center, give it a good shake out, and then into all fours to tabletop. So that's knees underneath the hips, hands underneath the shoulders, fingertips spread into the floor. When you're ready, let's inhale, draw the belly to the ground, tailbone lifts, broaden the chest, shoulders plug down away from the ears as we look forward. Exhale, tuck the chin in, press through the hands, round the back, draw the belly button in, maybe give the hips a little wriggle. And just doing cat cow in your own pace. Now attending to the movement of your spine, the front space of your body and the back. So anywhere that you may want to wriggle, feel free to twist, sway, shuffle hips. Again, just with the intention that we're here to gently awaken the body, arrive and be in our body, connecting mind and body where is the space of fluidity, stiffness? Where is the spaces of space and 
tension. Both living in your body. So just attend to where you need to. We'll take one more breath here. And when you're ready, we guide ourselves back through to center, tucking the toes under, spreading the fingertips into the floor as we start to awaken those wrists and feet. Gently walk forward on the inhale, gently sit back on the exhale, sending hips down towards the feet. Inhale forward as far as it feels good for your wrists. Exhale, sit hips back. Nice, and you're just doing that within your own pace of breath. Again, with the intention as you draw forward, start to awaken those wrists, so making sure we're spreading weight into all 10 fingertips. As we sit the hips back, just making sure that we're putting a gentle weight into the feet, feeling the feet, toes starting to stretch, awaken. Nice, and we'll go ahead and do one more round. No rush, just in your own pace. Waking up shoulder joints and hips. From there, let's take the big toes together. Maybe shuffle the knees out wider. As we sit the hips back, reach the arms forward, forehead to the ground. Coming into an extended child's pose here. Take that time to check in with breath. Breathe into the belly. Breathe it into the chest. Notice how your body responds into this gentle stretch. Notice how the pose changes with each breath. No moment or breath the same. Taking the time to be in your body as we breathe. As we stay here for about two more breaths, no rush. When you're ready, start to guide yourself back through to all fours. Draw the hips forward, shuffle the knees underneath the hips. So option one, you might want to just stay with cow and cow. Option two, you might want to tuck the toes under, send the hips back and up, keeping those knees softly bent, pedal the feet into your very first downward dog of the day. Pedal the feet, sway, twist the hips, really taking that, your time to just, again, nourish, awaken your body. If it doesn't feel great, feel free to take cat cam. Nice. And from there, you might lower the knees down, if you haven't, if you're not, if you're in a dog. Or you might just look forward and step right foot forward in between the hands towards that right thumb. Just checking that hip, knee, ankle alignment. So if you imagine the hips extend out, so it's going to be in line, that will help you with foundation and balance. Hands can frame the feet onto the knees, palms to the center, entirely up to you. Whichever option you're in, let's deeply breathe into the belly, chest, and breathe all the way out. So let's start to arrive with that breath. And if you're more familiar with those breaths, let's inhale, can we draw up from that pelvic floor through to the core, through to the crown of the head. And then as we breathe out, maybe this space to draw hips towards the ground. Nice, taking another breath there.
Nice. From there, if you haven't already, let's bring those hands down. Tuck the toes, lift the back knee, step through to downward dog. And if that's not available or you just don't fancy it, come back into cat cow. And in that downward dog or cat cow, we're keeping that movement, flow and fluidity. Exploring your joints, exploring movement, exploring your body, muscles. Nice. And from there, feel free to lower the knees down or look forward and then step left foot forward. In between the hands, hands frame the feet, hands onto the knees, palms to the centre, entirely up to you. As we arrive with breath, so just take a conscious breath in and a conscious breath out. And can we then start to apply that breath to being in this pose? So first of all, just let the shoulders draw down and away. Can we inhale, draw up from that pelvic floor through the core, lifting through to the crown of the head. Then on the exhale, maybe the space to draw hips down towards the ground. And that could look like this as well. It doesn't have to be hands on the ground. Nice, your last breath, be careful. Your last breath there, whichever option you're in. Nice, okay, from there, let's bring those hands down if you haven't already. Tuck the toes, lift the back knees, step through to downward dog. If you don't fancy downward dog, take cat cow. And again, just the intention, move where your body is craving for space. Draw those shoulders down away from the ears. Nice, and then from there, Let's start to walk those feet forward towards the hands. Feet hip width, arms hanging heavy. Feel free to really let the head go so you can place hands, um, arms dangling down, fold arms. If it's too intense, place elbows onto the knees. And just notice how your body responds to being upside down, especially being horizontal, just lying in bed. Can you let the head go a little more? Maybe shake the head, yes and no, very slowly. Maybe you swing gently from side to side or rock back and forth. How does your body respond to being upside down? Nice, from there, taking one more breath. Let's release the arms or you fold them or stack them on the knees. Let's bend those knees, press through the feet. Inhale, slowly rolling up. One vertebrae, vertebrae at a time. Keep your head nice and heavy if that feels okay. We gently roll up. Head comes up last. Shrug shoulders up. Draw shoulders down. Nice, feel free to take a couple more of those. So I'm just going to face towards you guys, but it doesn't matter which way you're facing. From there, feet hip width apart, palms facing forward. Just notice as you arrive into standing, maybe as you just woke up, it's kind of a slouch and you crawl out of bed. Can we stand stronger and taller in that mountain pose? Spreading toes into the floor, strong through the legs, but not locking the knees, keeping the knees soft. Feel free to close your eyes or focus on a point in front of you. Spread the weight evenly across both feet. Can we gently draw the belly button in slightly, get that tailbone to tuck under slightly, pulling up from pelvic floor through core through to the crown of the head. Palms face forward, maybe even take the hands out to the side slightly to create space underneath the armpits, taking up space. 
shoulders draw down the back, back of the head in line with the spine. As we take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. That arriving with full presence in your mountain pose. Nice. No rush your last breath there. And then from there, let's inhale, circle the arms out wide, reaching up. Exhale, circle the hands out and down. Nice, let's shuffle those feet out. So the feet go out diagonally, we're going to come down to squat. So go as low as it feels good for you. Inhale, maybe you come up onto the toes, you reach the arms out. Exhale, we're going to bring the hands down and we're going to sit the hips back. It might be there, it might be lower, you might come down, up to you. Inhale to sweep, maybe again you come up onto the toes, reach up. Exhale, come back down into your squat position, whether that's halfway, lower down. And just flow with that, waking up your body, reaching, taking up space. Breathing out, coming to squat down and attending to that lower half of your body. Nice. We'll do two more in your own pace. Nice. Bring yourself down. We'll meet at the top in your own pace. And we stretch all the way up. Take a good stretch. Take maybe arm one up, down. Maybe take it up to the sides. And then when you're ready, we'll start to guide ourselves to sit down. So for the next part, this is going to be our final um, slow down to meditation. If you want to, go grab a pillow to sit underneath you. Entirely up to you. Ooh, nice. Yes, a meditation cushion. So get whatever you need to to sit underneath. From there, again, feel free to rock from side to side, rock from back and forth, maybe go around in a circular motion. So hopefully you're feeling a bit more connected and awakened in your body than when we arrived. And then feel free to close your eyes as we shuffle into that seated position. It doesn't have to look like this. You can extend the legs forward. You can even come into kneeling as well and just wedge some cushions or blocks underneath you. So you can come into kneeling, wedge something underneath. You can also, one of the perks of practicing at home, sit on your sofa and sit on a chair. It doesn't have to be a meditation seat or a traditional meditation seat. The idea is that we're up seated so that we're alert but also relaxed. So I don't want you to feel tense. So maybe feel free to shuffle shoulders and rock side to side more gently and slowly just to find your center point. So maybe if you're like me, I tend to lean forward more. So if you need to you shift back to find where you feel the spine, one vertebrae, vertebrae, vertebrae stacks on top of one or the other. Let the back of the neck follow that as well as you keep the back of the neck. And so maybe it's a slight tuck of the chin in. And up to you, palms facing down onto the knees or palms facing up. And the idea of finding a comfortable meditation seat is that we've got that sense of relaxed but awake. So we're not just going to fall back asleep, especially for our morning meditation. So just noticing how are you feeling physically now? How are you feeling in your mind space, emotionally, your energy levels, maybe you're starting to wake up and don't worry if your mind 
wanders off from our meditation. So just check in again, how are you feeling? Key points of mindfulness is taking that awareness, that check and tune in. And then also accepting exactly where you are. There is no wrong or right way to be, we're human. And most of us go through really crappy days and also good days. Like in our body we have resist, um, stiffness and space and tension and fluidity exists. That duality exists in our day to day life as well. It's only our mind that starts to label this is good, this is bad. So allow yourself just to be and experience. Maybe you can apply that throughout the rest of your day as well. So accepting where you are right now. And that's where we allow ourselves to change. If we're not aware and if we don't accept where we are, then we can't make a change or any intentions. So as we accept where we are, let's relax our shoulders a little more. Maybe we have that lightness in the torso, sitting up taller. And we breathe. Our breath. Our anchor to the present. Our breath, when we focus here, we're no longer projecting into the future and we're no longer reflecting into the past. And don't worry again, if your mind wanders off, that is completely natural. Unless you do meditation all day, every day. Sometimes when we meditate, it's just processing as we slow down. But like anything, it's a skill, a practice. So when we take this time to slow down, recenter, listen to ourselves, things may process and come up. And just allow and accept this space for whatever to arise to be. And then we guide ourselves back to the breath to re-center, self-regulate. It's not that we're shutting off any thoughts. We're acknowledging its existence. And then just not giving it space to grow and overthink and, and take up mind space. Because now is not the space or time for that. Now is a space and time to attend to our meditation. So each time, or maybe not each time, when you notice that you've wandered off, we come back, watching the breath flow in, watching the breath flow out. And as you allow your breath to be your anchor into the present, I'll play some singing bowls just to help deepen that meditation. Sometimes the bowls really help to just massage and create space in the mind.
free to stay here, seated, continuing with your meditation, or feel free to surrender and lie down onto the ground into neutral rest, however you'd like to close your practice up to you. As you stay seated or lie down, just noticing how you feel, full circle of when you arrive to how you feel now. And now in this space that you have created, and don't worry, like anything, practice is always different. Sometimes it's busier, sometimes it's quieter. Sometimes you've got more things to process that you might have buried deep or ignored or just not had the time to process, especially as we get busier. But as we've taken that time to be aware and accept, this is a space where we can plant those seeds of intention or change. So in this space, feeling free to Set your intention for the day, for the week. Maybe it is to be more present and experience your day of being rather than doing all the time. Maybe it's to notice the dualities in your day not labeling good or bad, but again, just to experience. Whatever your intention is, let's plant that seed now. And then on your next exhale, letting go of any concentration. Let your body go heavy. Let your head rest. Notice the points of contact with the floor. To so take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Maybe taking a deeper breath in and part the lips, sigh everything out. Last one in your own pace. And whether seated or lying down, let's start to wriggle fingers, wriggle toes, rock the head from side to side. Sweep the legs together, sweep the arms out, reach the arms up. Take a full body stretch. And then collect those knees in to give yourself a big squeeze and a big hug, even seated. Just thanking yourself for waking up to take this practice to set up your day. You've done that work. You've made that time to arrive. So thank and well done as well. Sometimes it is hard to motivate ourselves. And then from there, if you're lying down, let's rock side to side, rock back and forth. <clears throat> and we'll all arrive meeting in seated with the palms at the center of the chest. Finding a comfortable seat, sitting tall, shoulders relaxed, arriving back into our day. Let's inhale and circle arms out wide, palms together. Exhale, hands down through center. 
Namaste. Welcome back and good morning. Hopefully feeling more awake. I definitely am. 